morning. We're live on the Trade Decorator Festival. Thanks for joining us this morning. Um, and in this morning's session, we're going to be bringing you an exclusive review uh, from Nick Sammet of Rushmore Painting and Decorating. Um, for those of you that don't know Nick, he's one of our product reviewers on the Trade Decorator product review team. And he is pretty well known on Instagram as Rushmore 100, if you're on Instagram. Um, now, this morning's review, we've been working with Wagner to bring you a review of their SF23 Pro airless spray machine. Um, we have also um, got a very generous prize from our um, from Wagner, which is the Wagner Veteran Infinity airless spray gun. And we'll be doing a draw for that prize later today. Keep an eye on our social media pages as we'll be announcing the winner on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Um, and good luck. So let's have a look at the review. Hello, Nick Samet from Rushmore Painting and Decorating, bringing you a product review on behalf of Trade Decorator TV. The product we're looking at today is the Ragnar SF23 Pro Diaphragm Airless Spray Machine. And I'm going to give you three things about this machine that I like and two things I feel could be improved. But before we get stuck into the review, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, like and comment. Anything you can do as a viewer to help boost our content would be greatly appreciated as that way more decorators like yourselves get to see product reviews like this more often. So, the Wagner SF23 Pro airless spray machine is a diaphragm airless spray machine, um, which is slightly different to your traditional piston airless spray machine. This one has a, a diaphragm pump in it which pushes the paint out on a in a continuous way, um, all the time you're using it, it runs consistently. Whereas a piston airless will run intermittently, building up pressure, then releasing the pressure and building up pressure, so forth. So it's got a slightly different style of um, the, in, 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 the, in the way it works, but the um, the end result is is similar. It's it's a very similar um, way of, of of spraying something, in the sense that it is an airless spray machine. Um, the first thing I really like about it is the fact that it's a very compact machine for the specifications that it offers. So it can put out a 23,000 tip, um, it runs at around 2.6 litres a minute and it weighs in at around 27 kg. So it's a very small compact machine but it has it packs a punch um, and is almost comparable to some of the bigger models on the, uh, bigger models on the market. Um, and yeah, it's just a very compact sprayer. So when this handle folds down using these two sleeves here, you would have the hopper off when you do this, but it just folds down like that and it almost folds down into a tiny little box, um, which then when you're on site or in your van, you can put it away into a corner and it, it takes up very little room. Um, the second thing I really like about it is that it's very maintenance free in the long run. Um, having a, a diaphragm instead of a piston uh, requires less maintenance over the course of its life. So it's a lot more cost effective for you as, a, as an owner of a spray machine that this will require less servicing and, and maintenance, etc. And the third thing I, I like about it, which sounds a bit weird, but it's the way it just runs consistently. The fact that it runs consistently, holding the pressure while it's running all the time. Um, in terms of noise, it can be a bit irritating at first, but you get accustomed to it and you sort of zone out of of the noise it makes while you're working as opposed to a piston machine which builds up the pressure uh, and then stops and then starts again and stops etc. Whereas on the smaller machines um, they're running consistently flat out and they're whining 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 whereas this one it's just like a purring all the time uh, and that also um, produces less pulsation uh, on, the, on the gun as well so that's a real a, a bonus as well. So before I talk about the things that I've I feel could be improved about the machine. Let's have a little look at me spraying some, some different products. I'm working with a window and I'm spraying some primer and then also some feather edge boarding rough sawn uh, with some water-based wood stain and you'll get to see it in motion and also hear the machine next to the camera as well.
But as you can tell by the video, um, you, it does make a consistent noise. The camera was probably about a foot away from it, so it was very close and probably exacerbated the um, the, the noise that it, it does make. Because when you're working with it, you're never right next to it. You're always at a distance. So um, yeah, that just gives you an idea as to you know the the noise of it at least. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you a few things that it comes with. Obviously, before I get into talking about the things I dislike about it, and it comes with a Vector Pro gun. This is the standard gun that it comes with. It's not the only gun Magnum make. And this gun isn't my favorite gun I've ever used, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it spits a little bit with water-based finishes on woodwork and stuff. I find that could be quite irritating. It's a bit more bulky than, than, than my other guns as well. So it's not my preferred gun. It's great with emulsions. I didn't have any issues with spitting or anything like that with emulsions. Um, so that's just something to bear in mind. They make a lot of other guns and I think they make higher spec guns than this as well. So maybe look at them if you are gonna get this machine. It comes with a suction hose set up for larger quantities of paint and, and things like emulsions and, and whatnot. And the, the hopper as well. And this is a bonus because the hoppers after market prices are around 200 pounds. They're absolutely ridiculous. So if you're getting a machine that comes with a hopper and also suction hose set up like this, it's it's a it's a great bonus for you and also the tips that are available for it so we've got the purple fine finish tips I've worked with this these these uh, fine finish tips in a few situations find them really good I wouldn't say they're any better than some of the other fine finish tips on the market and also they're, they're no worse they're, they're 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 on par and they perform really well and the HEA tips, the green ones, are the ones you'd want to use for emulsions and things like that. And these are absolutely fantastic. So the machine itself has a dial with a HEA section, which is in green, and that runs up to about 1000 PSI. And the point is that these tips are supposed to work within that green section. So it runs at a very low pressure for high viscosity paints like emulsions. And that's something that's really, really, really good. I've used it with the emulsions and stuff like that, and I was, I was blown away by how smooth they were and how little pressure was required to, to uh, take the tails out of the paint. So that's something to, to bear in mind. Um, even if you don't have a Wagner machine, you can run these on you know various different guns with the same uh, Wagner spray guard and you'll be amazed with them. They're fantastic. So two things I kind of dislike about the, the spray machine and one of them isn't that bad because it can be changed uh, you know according to your needs, but that's the hose. So this comes with a um, 15 I think 15 meter hose um, and I haven't even measured it <laughs> comes with a 15 meter hose and this thing is an absolute nightmare for me I find packing it away to this sort of standard you know wrapping it up in a loop to hang on the back of the machine or wrap around the machine is a real pain even when it's unloaded like that with no pressure built up it just gets it doesn't want to go the way you want it to you have to sort of back twist it to get it how you want it around your arm or whatnot and then when it's loaded, it's even worse because it becomes more rigid and, and even less malleable than it is when it's like that. And you can get whip hoses, extensions and, and whatnot to make them more flexible within your working area. But even then, you've still got a massive amount of hose behind you, which is getting wrapped up on thing, on itself and, and just getting into knots and stuff. So the hose is a major dislike for me, but it's not an integral part of the machine. You can change the hose if you wanted to, to suit your needs. So that's something to, to bear in mind. And the wheels as well. They're not exactly the most robust wheels I've seen on an airless spray machine. They're very, very plasticky, um, which is fine for, for maneuvering it around on, on flat surfaces like this on issue. But if you're working at a house with a gravel driveway and you're trying to drag this thing over the gravel and it's just gouging into the ground and things because the wheels aren't that great, so it could really do with beefed up wheels, rubber wheels on it, and that would be um, a major uh, improvement for just the general usage of the machine. Um, but yeah, overall it's a fantastic machine. I've loved using it. Uh, I'm gonna continue to enjoy using it. Um, it's probably been used more than all my other machines uh, since I've had it. Um, uh, because I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed the results I've been getting with it, it's been fantastic. So overall I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10. Um, as, as, as you've seen there's a few improvements that can be made but spec wise um, output wise and, and, and things like that it's uh, a very very capable machine and for domestic decorators I believe if you had this one spray machine for 
as I said, domestic work, not spray booth, high end finishing work. This thing would suit all your needs. You wouldn't need another machine. Um, so definitely have a look at the SF23 Pro if you can. Um, the price for the machine, I'm not actually familiar with the price, but that we'll put that on the screen now for you, the um, RRP. Um, if you want to check out all the Trade Decorator social media platforms, they'll be on the screen now. And also myself, Rushmore Painting and Decorating, all my social media platforms will be on the screen now as well. As I said at the beginning of the video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Anything you can do to help boost our content would be greatly appreciated. And that's been my review of the Wagner SF23 Pro uh, spray machine. Thanks for watching. So there's our review of the Wagner SF23 Pro airless spray machine. A solid eight and a half out of 10 from Nick um, for the machine. If you enjoyed that review and would like to see any other reviews from the Trade Decorator product review team, they're all on our um, website, which is trade-decorator.co.uk or on our YouTube channel. Um, we do do regular reviews and we're always looking for manufacturers um, to work with that so that we can bring you some of the newest products in the market. I hope you enjoyed it and um, check out our social media channels later today. That will be on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and we'll let you know who's won that Wagner Vector Infinity airless spray gun. Thanks for joining.